Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday, Georgia Senate runoff day. Also, ISM today in the U.S. and some other monkey releases. Uh, lively start to the market yesterday. Let's, let's have a quick gander. What happened? The, the main news was equities got trashed and gold jumped. Um, like Sergei Bubka used to jump in the early 80s. Bubka, man, if you're a fan of athletics, check him out. Great pole vaulter from the Ukraine. Just ignore the drug. The drug liability there. Uh, but fuck, that guy was fit. One of my favorite athletes. Uh, anyway, gold, bang, gap open. Uh, up to 50, back down to 35. Let's put up the hourlies, get a better idea of this shit. Um, so up to 48.5, back down to 33, up to 48.5, back down to 36, up to 48, back down to 37. So we've been trying to decide what to do here today. If the Dems uh, win today, gold um, through 50 looks interesting. No sense in pre-positioning now. Um, no sense in uh, you know having big risk on going into this. You got to see um, where these dominoes will land. Because if the Republicans hold, uh, the dollar will will bounce. If the Democrats sweep, the dollar is going to get hit. So, uh, and weirdly, if the Democrats win, I think stocks will get smoked. Um, and if the Republicans win, I do think the knee jerk will be stocks higher, but um, I do think stocks will get hurt as well. Uh, so if you want to pre position slightly risk off, I don't mind that. Um, but having a dollar position doesn't make a lot of sense right now, so we're just sort of in the waiting mode. Euro. Didn't really do much, really. I mean, it went up to 90, down to 40. Here we are at 70. That's like a dick in a box. Not much to do with that. Um, you could redraw this trend line. Uh, pretty steep. Not a very useful line, but just kind of a reminder that we're in this big uptrend. Is this going to break today? Eh, maybe. Uh, if the Republicans win, it will be a knee-jerk dollar buy. Uh, but, that said, it might be a fade. Um, I, I don't think it might be a fade. It will be a fade once once the stops are done. There are there are going to be stops below 120, 120. Cable. Bearish engulfing at the uh, you know five-year highs here. Was that the five-year highs? Something like that. No, not really. Actually, in 2018, we were up here. Uh, but we bearish engulfed. Cannot sell this and leave a stop here. It doesn't make any sense on your risk reward. Uh, what you can do maybe is bearish confirmation will be through the lows yesterday. That's also miles away. Uh, you get the picture here. There's not a lot to do. Um, in cable right now. 06 was kind of the breakdown yesterday. What did we print? 02. 06 will be a little bit of a pivot today. Um, anyway, same deal. Dems win. Cable's going to go back higher. Dollar Swiss, nothing to do. Dollar Yen, just dicking around. Um, not much going on. We could go through all these currency pairs, but really. Um, it's a waste of time, right? This is an event-driven day. If you live in Europe, as I do, um, the timing of this is going to suck. So, how is this going to work, right? Results are going to come in around 9 p.m., I guess, 9 or 10 p.m. I don't know, it's Georgia. Um, there might be some... I don't know how it works in Georgia. Uh, but I'm assuming it's going to be 9, 10 p.m. We're going to have to drill down on that uh, this morning, which means it's 3 a.m., 4 a.m. our time. Um, so, tricky. 
tricky to trade here from Europe. Uh, if you're motivated, you're up. If you're not motivated, just go to bed. There's always another day. Um, the European Open will be very lively tomorrow uh, as well, so there'll be money to be made there. Look at Dollar China because it didn't really um, respond to the squeeze as much as some of the other stuff did. We only got up to 644. If you look on the dailies here, Dollar China didn't do dick. It actually made a big new low today. Man, that shit looks offered. But again, if the Republicans win, there might be a squeeze in that. Um, you wonder if this China trade is because they're like sort of virus free now. Um, I'm pretty optimistic here in Europe. My father-in-law was contacted by the state yesterday. Uh, said he's getting a vaccine today here in Switzerland. So shit's happening. Um, it's coming. As long as there's no mutation risk and whatever and I don't know, but he's he's 78, <clears throat> so he's front of the line here, and that was uh, good news that we got yesterday. And I'm assuming in Europe, even though the press is like, oh god, so many problems. Um, I think the West is going to get this vaccine out in a couple of months. So, you anyway, know, I'm relatively optimistic about that. Let's look at bonds, speaking of optimi optimism and, and um, vaccines. This pennant is sort of the technical play. The story will be Democrats. It will be much, much more fiscal stuff. Um, should be huge supply in bonds. So, bonds lower. It's so tricky, right? So bonds lower, but but dollar lower. Um, lots of tricky shit going on. I think the best trade today is to watch risk, right? Democrats and you smash risk. Let's look at Bitcoin. We squared our Bitcoin at 32.5. Uh, we did not buy any at 27, uh, 28,000. We're just sitting and waiting now. Um, this fair bit of hysteria here. J.P. Morgan said it's going to 164,000, which is no big deal. I, I do think Bitcoin probably also goes a lot higher. But um, you got a lot of weak hands uh, who have bought Bitcoin at 30,000. So be careful if you're long Bitcoin. It's just a tech stock. Don't get emotional about it. It's just a trade. Uh, it's not a religion. <laughs> it's a trade, right? You own Tesla, you own Bitcoin. It's exactly the same trade. Um, get over yourself. Crude. Did not trade crude yesterday. Uh, we were long dollar max and dollar czar, but uh, crude did not handle the shit too well. We got OPEC. The OPEC monkeys babbling again today. Are they going to increase supply? Uh, as most of you know, not exactly my forte. Uh, crude. Um, although I was looking at my yearly P&L statistics yesterday from 2020, uh, crude was positive. Um, you know, not super positive, but didn't lose money on crude, which is uh, kind of funny. Um, that's why you keep statistics. You'd be surprised on where you lost money. I was very surprised uh, in the futures market um, about what I thought I was good at and what I was actually good at. Anyway, crude looks like shit. Um, not sure what to do with it. Not doing anything with it. Speaking of dollar EM. 1460, as we talked about yesterday, was kind of the bingo number on the way back up. Traded up to uh, 75. Max, the same thing. 1980 was the bingo. Traded up to 98. Um, you got to be square of this shit now. Uh, I think there's big, big risk today. This could just collapse. One of the things we do know is um, 
1970 and 1450. 1970 in dollar max and 1450 in dollars are super important. And if the Dems win, um, this could um, this could bust a move way the fuck lower. Um, so. A lot of people are long yesterday, and rightfully so. Risk off, nice tail, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we know where their stops are hiding, right? Anyway, said a lot today. There's not really much to say. I could have summed this whole video up with don't do anything. Um, maybe position slightly risk off. Sell some S&Ps into 15, which was Friday's low. If you get a chance, that's a pretty bearish par, right? Um, should be resistance at 37.15 today. Um, but keep it light, right? I mean, this is going to be a wild, wild two-day period. We have FOMC minutes coming up this week as well. Loads of opportunities. Um, don't get your knickers in a twist. Take a deep breath. Get some rest today, perhaps. Um, go screw your wife. It's always a good thing to do. Um, I don't know, uh, but just sit tight. The roller coaster begins uh, after the Georgia results are in. Good luck, people. Ciao.